What's up guys, I'm just going through a chest and a leg workout for my today's session. Just a few little pointers and tips to be aware of when you're in the gym. When it comes to chest, try not to focus too much on the midline. You're only going to be working the center of your chest. Remember, there's probably at least eight to ten different variations that you need to hit on your chest. Working on the width and the outside of your chest, you're working the inner chest, the upper, the middle and the lower end of the chest. Still have to work it from different angles to get an overall good chest balance. So don't focus too much on the center line. If you look at your workout, generally when you come out of the gym, you're going to focus on how many sets actually did you do with center line. How much did you do on the incline? Sometimes you end up with just like three sets on your upper chest and that's it for the total workout of your chest. And I focus more on my upper chest more than anything in the workouts because that's the most stubborn part to build. Getting closer to the clavicle is the hardest part of your chest to build. So I suggest you turn it around and do more upper chest work than it is doing a flat bench work. And I'm going to just incorporate some leg work and this one I'm going to give you a little point is about the tension that you might have in legs. Usually the common thing is to have a little bit of tightness in your hamstrings and your glutes. If that's something that you suffer from, having a little bit of tightness there, it's great to engage the quads more than it is trying to engage your hamstrings and glutes and focus more on stretching and some mobility and releasing some muscle tension in the hamstrings and the glutes before trying to overwork those areas as well when you do your leg day. So I'm going to be doing Bulgarian split squats which I enjoy quite a lot so I'm going to hit those but I'll be doing half with a heavier weight to focus more on the quads and trying to eliminate the extra depth so I don't have to target into my glutes and my hamstrings as much. If you guys want more help with your fitness journey, helping you build muscle, get out from a skinny body frame, helping you build mass, as well as helping you with sustainable diets, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel at Hard to Channel Fitness. Subscribe to it, bring you content every single week. But now I'm just going to go and finish out my chest and my leg workout. We enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video.